Ford Motor Company Supply Chain Strategy IST Group 5 Member Jin Zhou, Ying Liu, Si Zhao Mao, Zhao Yu Li First is our outline. We're going to talk about this case from eight aspects. First, general issues. Second, main stakeholders. Third, theory and concept. And the fourth, symptoms and problems. Fifth, alternatives and evaluations. Sixth, solution and implementation plan. Seven, evaluation and final review. And the last, status update. My name is Jin Zhou. I'm going to talk about the first part of this case, general issue. In 1995, the company had just launched their first plan of Ford 2000, which means they were merging into a single global organization. In 1996, the company just launched their first internet set for the company-wide. In 1997, Ford had in place a business-to-business -business compatibility through which the intent could be extended in a secure manner beyond company boundaries into an excellent, potentially connecting Ford with its suppliers. And at the meantime, Ford had teamed with Chrysler and General Motors to work on the Automotive Network Exchange. They, are aim they aimed to create consistency in technology standards and process in the supplier network so that suppliers are already pressed to lower their costs. In 1998, Ford had established the first retail network, FRN, to take advantage of the changing of the market. In 2000, Ford had a achieved projects of Ford production system, which including the following of signorous material flow, inline vehicle sequencing, order to delivery, just-in-time, time, total quality management, statistical process control to lower the price, and from the push base to pull base customer demand. There were four main issues for Ford, which are market capitalization, working capital, foreign auto competitors pressure, and building supplier relationship. So first of all, market capitalization, Ford decided to enhance customer demand, shifting the base from push to pull. And there are they were applying information technology to reduce working capital. For the pressure from their competitors out of the country, they started to reduce cycling time and increase overcapacity. The biggest part is to build supplier relationship. Ford decided to apply long-term relationship with the strategy of just-in-time total quality management and statistical process control to make sure the supply is continuously. Hi, I'm Si Jiao Ma, and I will introduce about the main stakeholders. The main stakeholders could be divided into two parts, external and internal. On the external side, it includes customers, suppliers, competitors, and dealerships. And on the internal side, we can see the employees, suppliers, shareholders, executive managers, board members, and service providers. 
Hello everyone, I'm Ying Liu. Now I'm discussing the theory and concept of Ford Business Strategy. Ford favored virtual integration model, and Ford production system was an integrated system aimed at making Ford manufacturing operations leaner, more responsive, and more efficient. It focuses on key attributes of the production process, aspiring to level production and move to a more pore-based system with synchronized production, continuous flow, and stability through the process. Major re-engineering projects were initiated around important company processes such as. Order to delivery and for production system with goals such as reducing OTD time from more than sixty days to less than fifty fifteen days. The one of value to the one of the value is to improve quality and reduce cycle times while dramatically lowering the cost of developing and building cars. And keeping or occupying much more market share to increase shareholders' values and also improve customer responsi- responsiveness. In terms of its、uh, capability, the Ford Motor Company was the second large industrial co- corporation in the world, so it means it has global presence at the existing. Sp- Supply base and retail network should be possessed. For made its expertise available to assist suppliers in improving their operations, while a range of techniques, including just in time, inventory, total quality management, and statistical process control, in exchange for the closer. Relationships and long-term commitments. In this case, there are some symptoms and problems. First one, U.S. market was invaded by foreigner-based auto manufacturers such as Toyota and Honda, and it formed large competition among dealerships. At this point. Ford will merge all their global market shares into one global organization and enhance customer experience and improve better quality. And second, there is a lot of complexity in dealing with the supply chain. There were thousands of suppliers. Their preference was based off of cost. Based on this problem, it should be better to reduce their supplier base to have a closer. And more long-term relationship with fewer suppliers called Taiwan suppliers. And the third one, Ford faced the increasing overcapacity among 20 million vehicles. The inventory management is serious problem should be solved. Ford will make a shift from push to pull processes. For two thousand merged North American, Europe, and international automotive operations. And next one, there's a long order to delivery time. It's usually around forty-five to sixty-five days. This high OTD time caused a domino effect up the supply chain. For this situation, Ford started up the OTD project to reduce to 15 days the time from a customer's order to delivery of the finished product. And another thing is to better forecasting and optimization of schedules and procedures. The last one is Ford is difficult to achieve cost saving in incremental IT. The lower level suppliers were not capable of acquiring IT at the same rate as Ford. The higher one suppliers do have fairly solid IT capabilities, but this capability severely drop when dealing with the higher two suppliers. At this point, for two thousand developed inline vehicle sequencing. 
frequency, which enabled Ford to receive parts quicker from suppliers, and the impla implementation of Ford 2000 also included just in time total quality management and statistical process control. Hi everyone, I'm Jia Yi Lu. Now I'm going to jump into alternatives and evaluations. The first alternative is do nothing and keep the original model of supply chain. This alternative for the company is a relatively safe alternative and it does not require additional investment. Also, it does not need to change the company's organization and supply chain structure. It's relatively low risk. However, do nothing means that the company is still maintained at high inventory and long OTD state. And now the market competition is increasingly intense. If Ford does not take measures to adapt the changing market, it's likely to make the Fox competitiveness lags behind its competitors. The second solution is to implement a semi-virtual integration. Ford can reach agreement with part of its supplier, and this part of supplier provides Ford with materials based on virtual integration mode, while the other part of supply chain to maintain the original mode. This program gives Ford an opportunity to try to run a testing virtual integration mode. Once it fails, it will not bring a fatal blow. And this solution doesn't require Ford to completely change its organization and supply chain structure. So the cost of investment is low. At the same time, Ford can also contact with customer demand directly for customization and quickly respond to customer needs. But this alternative also has its weakness. Compared with the first alternative, the second solution requires Ford launch a new supply chain. And Ford has to change its internal and external environment to adapt its new supply chain. This is a process that takes time. The third alternative is directly transformed into virtual integration. Virtual integration can help Ford to reduce inventory, increase supply chain feasibility, and quickly respond to customers' demand. And based on the virtual integration mode, Ford can implement build to order strategy, so it can significantly shorten the OTD. However, this alternative requires Ford to reconstruct its supply chain and even its organization. It will spend so much time and money. It needs a long-term commitment. And if the virtual integration mode fails, it will bring a very big impact on Ford. Therefore, it's a high-risk alternative. We believe that the best solution is the second solution, to implement the semi-virtual integration model. And in order to run this model, Ford needs to assemble a team responsible for planning and implementing the virtual integration program, and find an experienced leader-to-lead -leader team. This team should refer to the experience of Dell and other companies, combined with the state of Ford's supply chain, to develop an overall virtual integration strategy. Then Ford should carefully select the appropriate suppliers and cooperate with them to design a supply chain model for virtual integration mode. At the same time, Ford also needs to establish an online platform like Dell to build a bridge between customer and vehicle maker so that customers can customize their products online according to their needs. Before running the semi virtual integration mode, Ford should collect customer demand forecast from dealers or other scheduler to improve OTD. After running virtual integration mode for a period of time, Ford should collect customer data and share it with suppliers to evaluate and improve the semi virtual integration strategy for Ford. If the semi virtual integration mode is successful, which means it can help Ford to improve competitive advantage, Ford can try to expand the scope of virtual integration model and transfer to full virtual integration.
My name is Jin Zhou. I'm going to talk about the last part of this case, evaluation and review. So basically, for Ford, there were five remarkable steps. First, reduction in inventory. They've applied just-in-time total quality control and statistical process control to reduce the inventory cycling time so that to saving their cost. And the second of all, improvement in production flow. To shift from the base of push to pull and trying to focus customer demand by testing their market. And the third, efficient delivery procedures. Order to delivery, maxima, the deliveries and manner variation is the best way for them to be at their most efficiency. One of the most significant steps that Ford had taken place is the Ford 2000 re-engineering cooperation plan. The important part of it is synchronous material flows. Ford defined it as a process or system that produces a continuous flow of material and products driven by a fixed, sequenced, and leveled vehicle schedule, utilizing flexibility and lean manufacturing concepts. To apply so, there is also a system called inline vehicle sequencing, which used vehicle in process storage devices and computer software to ensure that vehicles are assembled in other sequence. Lastly, for retail teamwork, it is testing and analyzing platform to better take over the market and sustain for the market. To better understand Ford current supply chain strategy. There is an annual report of Ford for supply chain from 2015 to 2016. As it indicates, Ford had put in over $110 billion of dollars into total global spending. Just as we mentioned earlier, Ford always faster long-term relationships with their suppliers through active engagement. This helps them communicate their expectations on key issues such as human rights, working conditions, environmental sustainability, and also ensure that their suppliers have management systems in place to mitigate potential risks and ensure continually of supply. Currently, for supply chain strategy is focusing on sustainability. In 2005, Ford Motor Company inter entered into a aligned business framework, ABF, agreements with select suppliers to strengthen collaboration and develop a sustainable business model to drive mutual profitability and technology development. Ford currently has 81 production and 26 non-production ABF suppliers. The ABF formally spells out collaborative and transparent work in areas such as ethical business practices, working conditions, global manufacturing, and development footprints, and sourcing from minority, veteran, and women-owned businesses. For this strategy, suppliers, for global supply chain sustainability team, has developed a 
Rock Rose three stage process for managing sus sustainability issues for their supply chain strategy. First, for verifies that ABF suppliers have a code of conduct aligned with policy letter 24. ABF suppliers conduct internal training to ensure their employees understand and comply with their codes of conduct. Ford validates each supplier's internal mechanism to ensure ongoing alignment. The ABF suppliers are also required to extend up their shared expectations to their own suppliers. Ford ensures that ABF suppliers can verify that their own supply chains are compliant with expectations. The benefits of entering aligned business framework are basically to further improve quality of their supplies. And the second of all is to drive innovation along with finding operational synergies. The last but the least is to encourage shared commitment. Thank you everyone. This is all the work from group five of case study for company supply chain strategy. Thank you so much.